during photosynthetic reactive. The tree uh, infested uh, a lot of nutrients into the leaf. Uh, when the, the leaf then senescing, the tree then reshop nutrient from the senescing leaf. The amount of nutrient remain in this leaf it's uh, more than 40 percent by uh, collecting, shredding, and ply into the crop plant, the topsoil will be maintained. By maintaining the topsoil, it is hoped that soil moisture and fertility will be maintained. Om Swastiastu, good morning, uh, greeting from Bali. Uh, we are here now in uh, my agroforest tree, which is integrating uh, the tree and the crop plant. The crop plant that we are growing here is uh, vanilla and other plants. So in, in this uh, agroforest tree, which is closely um, are similar to traditional traditional system of uh, agriculture where trees uh, crop uh, sometimes cattle uh, together are raised in, in a one place. Uh, in Bali um, uh, the tra this traditional type of uh, agroforestry is uh, very important to support uh, Balinese culture because in uh, agroforestry we are not only growing crop plant for uh, economical purposes but we are also growing plant for uh, cultural purposes. In terms of uh, ecological uh, view, we have to think about uh, fertility, of course, and uh, water con conservation. So by, by growing tree, as well as the um, crop, we could, um, we could conserve uh, soil fertility because the tree continuously produces leaf litter which uh, added uh, organic matter to the soil. The organic matter uh, increase the, the capacity of soil to hold water and during the rain season, the percolation of rain water into uh, the soil is higher. So the retention of water in the soil is uh, longer. Therefore, we could also um, lengthen or mitigate uh, the, the possible uh, drought during the rain season. And after the leaf is uh, decomposed, uh, of course, they will uh, release, release nutrients, so increase the fertility of the soil. So um, I think developing 
agroforestry by sustaining the growth of the trees and also the crop plant is very important for our uh, environment and our economical uh, purposes. Now uh, we uh, grow uh, this vanilla, we grow this vanilla using a uh, leaf litter as a mass is uh, uh, particularly aimed to increase the, the growth of this plant and also to to avoid the leaf litter to be uh, flown flown to other places because if we are not if we are not collecting collected to a certain place the leaf litter could then floating and following the stream of water during the rain season so it's a go away from this uh, this plantation uh, therefore the fertility the topsoil uh, the nutrient could easily be um, run out so we we have to think how to conserve fertility by uh, collecting the leaf litter avoid to uh, flown away from the plantation so uh, the soil the top soil continuously increase so by increasing the, the top soil percolation of water will be uh, higher so the, the, the capacity of the soil to conserve water uh, is higher so as we uh, already um, see from our various media that tree is very important ecologically for maintaining uh, water uh, and avoid uh, landsliding, flooding, etc. So uh, therefore uh, I try to develop uh, agroforestry system uh, by growing vanilla in, uh, in mixed culture with the tree. We grow uh, a lot of tree here. Uh, the tree is also has uh, a cultural purposes. Okay, thank you.